Hello and a warm welcome to News Across Nigeria. I'm Melinda Akinlami. On the program today, Nigeria joins the rest of the world to celebrate the International Women's Day as the Ekiti State Government announces plans to enact a law prescribing a life sentence for any man found guilty of battering a woman. Communal clash in Ilefe, Oshun State, leaves five dead and property destroyed. And in Anambra State, victims of a fire incident get financial support from the state government. It's International Women's Day and the federal government is giving women a gift in form of quarterly soft loans of between 10 and 100,000 Naira without collateral. With this, the women can engage in productive enterprises. This promise was delivered by the Minister of Women Affairs and Social Development, Aisha Alassan, in Ilori, Kwara State. 1.6 billion is taken out every three months and set aside out of the jeep money. So you'll enjoy from the jeep money, you'll enjoy from the jeep money, which is about 40 billion a year. And then every three months, you'll get 1.6, only exclusive for women. So when we finish eating in the big one, we now revert back to our own, the National Women Empowerment Fund. What do we want as women, if not that? If we are careful, and you know women are good managers, you all know that one because you are all women. We are good managers, we, we have integrity in the payment of loans, therefore taking this one and paying will not be a problem at all. For over four decades, the International Women's Day has been officially marked globally in a bid to create awareness around women's human rights. Yet, almost everywhere around the world, women and girls are still denied these rights, often simply because of the agenda. In our next report, our correspondent Yomi Otaibe takes a look at the rights of women, their challenges, and what gains have been made in Nigeria. March 8th, a day set aside every year to take a closer look at how far women around the world and indeed Nigeria have gone in terms of the enforcement of their rights, which are basically fundamental human rights. These rights include the right to live free from violence, slavery, discrimination, to be educated, to own property, to vote, reproductive rights and earn a fair and equal wage, among others. Although Nigeria has signed the International Convention on the Elimination of Discrimination Against Women, we find that the country hasn't ratified, meaning the, law, the convention has no effect in Nigeria now. We also find out that even though quite a number of states have passed laws that protect women in relation to widowhood, female genital mutilation, um, forced marriages, we still see that the policy environment or the institutional frameworks that are supposed to um, say arrest offenders or provide remedy to the victims are very weak. <laughs> Other areas government in Nigeria at all levels should look into include tackling the worrisome cases of domestic and sexual violence against women. While the implementation of the laws are expected to be strengthened, the society needs to play a more positive role. The issue of domestic violence, uh, it has just reached epidemic proportions. And that is just this dysfunction. It's the dysfunction. And it doesn't help that society doesn't, doesn't stand strongly when these cases happen. Flipping the page to politics, the level of women's political participation in the country, according to the National Bureau of Statistics, is 6.7% way below the recommended national gender policy of 35% affirmative action. 
people, they just think that once a woman is not, uh, is not economically empowered or endowed, she can't do it because it's all about money. Women don't have the kind of money and the kind of muzzle and the kind of connections that the men have. Despite the challenges facing the Nigerian women, the future remains bright based on a few success stories. In the past, when we don't have enough money to send our children to school, what do we do? We pick the male child and we tell the female child to stay at home, to cook and clean, and learn how to be a good wife for her future husband. But now we must appreciate what the Constitution says, that there's free education for our children from primary school to secondary school. There's nothing the men are doing that the women cannot do. We have men that are judges, we have women that are judges, we have women that are doctors and lawyers, even legislators, we have them. The United Nations began celebrating International Women's Day in 1975. It has become a rallying point to build support for women's rights and participation in the political and economic arenas. Your me or Taibo reporting for Channel Television News. Ekiti State has chosen to celebrate the International Women's Day differently. The governor, Ayodele Fayoshi, has announced plans to enact a law prescribing a life sentence for any man found guilty of battering a woman. The announcement was made at a rally in Adoikiti, where he talked about plans to empower the girl child through education. Be bold for change is the message for women on International Women's Day, encouraging them to believe in themselves. This year, the Ikiti state government has chosen to celebrate the day differently, gathering women from across the state at the Uluyemi Kayode Stadium to celebrate with them and reiterate the administration's support for their welfare. Recognizing the importance and role of women in development, an elated Governor Ayodele Fayeshe approved 500 million naira for women empowerment while enacting laws to protect them. Very irresponsible men beat their wives. This is part of what women must say no to. I have enacted laws. If you rape a kitty woman, you go to life imprisonment. If you rape an Ekiti woman, you will go in for life imprisonment. The wife of the governor, Feishe Tonfayoshe, believes women should not be neglected, asking them to take advantage of the state's economic plan while human rights activist Anne Kiel Briggs challenges women to be bold, especially in the restructuring process of the country. Women should be identified and appreciated by their strengths, abilities, and efforts to move the nation forward. I urge it to women to let us come together more than ever before to emphasize, ensure, and realize the objective of women empowerment. The women must join the governor and tell the government from a kitty state across the 36 states that we must restructure Nigeria if any political party or politicians are thinking of having elections in 2019. The occasion did not end without Governor Fayoshe using the platform to reiterate the position of the state on the PDP leadership crisis. We are not with Sheriff. We will never be with Sheriff. And I'm saying it again very expressly. We believe in the Supreme Court. When we get to the Supreme Court, the outcome we will chart a way forward. All over the world, the International Women's Day is marked to commemorate the struggle for women's rights and celebrate the political, social, economic and cultural achievements of women throughout history. Coming up on the program, the federal government talks about plans to create clean and sustainable energy. More details in a moment. Join us again.